Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, so good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss uh, uh, again uh, with the bibliometric analysis. And today, I'm using this uh, uh, R Studio for bibliometric analysis. Uh, and you know, uh, <clears throat> there are some uh, old videos I have uploaded. So this video, uh, you know, uh, as compared to the old videos, I have uh, made some updations. Uh, so uh, something new uh, you can uh, expect uh, from this video. So uh, so uh, I will uh, I will start right now. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so now I show this is our window. So now I am using this uh, our studio uh, version uh, 4.2.2. This is the latest version of uh, our studio which is available. And here the package bibliometrics is available. And the most important thing you just, you know, you just, uh, you know, update the packages. So before starting, my packages is all updated just uh, two days before. So I don't want to do that. So only these packages are updated, then uh, then only you will get uh, the complete uh, benefit of uh, bibliometrics and bibliotechnic packages. Here we use two packages that is bibliometrics and bibliotechnic. These two packages are the basic tool behind you know, uh, Biblio shiny window, and we can do this all this bibliometric analysis uh, after taking data from Scopus and the Web of Science database. So now, uh, listen. Uh, now I just uh, you know uh, start with bibliometrics, and I type Biblio shiny. Then click. So the new window is pop up, and this window uh, we can do all the bibliometric analysis. So I said just you update uh, the packages before starting this process. So first up, you have to install the bibliometrics package and update the package. Now, now you will get this window. So this is the window in which uh, we can do all these things. Here you can find Biblio Shiny, the Shiny app for bibliometrics, REIM, uh, and Hukuralo. Uh, and this is the paper published. And after this, you can get uh, something details from this website also. Uh, here you can find uh, the features of bibliometrics, Biblio Shiny, and key points, updates, and you will get tutorials. You will get uh, different, you know, different uh, informations. Okay, so globally, this is a wonderful tool. Uh, you know, uh, the scholars are using for the purpose of uh, bibliometric analysis. So now we have uh, the data option. So here uh, there are two options, load data and gathering data. So first you click the load data. So load data here, uh, you just, uh, you know, select the import raw files. And here we have a web of science. If you don't select raw file, if you select bibliometry files, then there is a problem. So you just do the import raw files. And here um, you will have options. Here I am using web of science. Uh, data if you using scopus you just select scopus so here i am using web of science data select web of science and browse and here uh, i have uh, one folder uh, for the upcoming class i have uh, you know monday i will have a class and i just downloaded some data so basically, I am dealing with this cryptocurrency data. So here I am different. I have uploaded, I downloaded different uh, formats of data. 
here I use uh, so data uh, February 3 crypto. So just I start. So data conversion in progress. So now you get a, a window like this. Here you can find that the other means completeness of the bibliometric metadata. This actually this window explaining the the data set I have uploaded here, author, cited reference, document, journal, language, number of cited reference, science, categories, title, dot citation, all good. And so the keyword plus, which is poor. So I could, I cannot find more analytics on keyword plus. So keyword plus is the uh, default keywords used by the journals. So here uh, we do. Uh, uh, the keywords of the authors rather than the journals other things that is affiliation corresponding author doi publication all these things are there so there are goods some are excellent so don't worry about this so this screen is okay so we can do uh okay so this is the first step uh so uh, uh just i need to explain my data for that i just you know i just click the uh, main information So main information, uh, we will get uh, the detailing of the data. Uh, here, uh, you know, we will get uh, the time span, sources, 257 sources, 25 documents, and 1665 authors. And there are 105 single author papers, co-authors, uh, details, references, so I think there is a problem with the references. Uh, can I change the data? So can I change the data? I will change the data. So again, I go to browse. There's a problem with the references. References are not coming up. So what about this data? I will test with the data. So data is uh, loading right now. So here, uh, keywords acceptable, keyword plus, poor. Again, okay, anyway, we can check the uh, overview of the data. Ah, yes, now, uh, now everything is okay. So the references are coming up. Uh, and these references are important, you know, uh, to do all these things. Here it is for 500 documents and 212 sources, 1,225 authors out of these 70 single author documents, then the co-authorship. Uh, so this, this data is paka, I think so. So I will give a separate video for uh, downloading of data set later. So, uh, so this is a status. So if you want it in table, just click it. Okay. So you can find different options here. Annual scientific production. So basically, this uh, you know keywords uh, use the uh, is uh, cryptocurrency. So the cryptocurrency double quotes. So that you know uh, we have got this data, and we have got a file from 2015 to 2023. That's a uh, the time in which uh, we had, uh, you know, opted, opted, uh, and this the average citations, citations, you know, uh, so the citations, uh, when we examine the citations, citations, citations are decreasing uh, for cryptocurrency keyword. And so we can find the sources. Uh, these are the sources. Here, you just uh, run the, uh, run otherwise the output will not be pop up here uh, you can have options you know you can have increased the number of uh, the things you can increase then it will be accordingly increase right so then here you can select uh, this for the report if you select you will get combined report if you want to copy this you just add uh, these relevant sources added to the report. Okay. 
So finally, after analysis, you will get the entire report. So you can also download this result auto, uh, results also. Uh, so the format is PNG and if you click it, the result will be downloaded. Okay, downloading. Okay. So this is the result. You just uh, copy and paste uh, whatever paper you make uh, out of the analysis. All right. So, so this is the way most relevant sources. Now you identify that uh, finance research letters is a very good journal, a, a category journal. Uh, and uh, this journal, you know, this journal is top, uh, top uh, occupying top position in publishing cryptocurrency journals. So here uh, you can find uh, most local cited sources. Run it. Again, these finance research letters they have you know. Uh, it's based on the citations, uh, 1,307 citations. Okay. So this is also, uh, shows, uh, the significance of finance research letters while publishing crypto, uh, currency papers. Okay. So here, uh, there is a Bradford's law. This law shows the significance of the journal and in terms of, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, publications okay so uh, the core sources so by bradford's law but according to bradford's law these are the uh, core sources in which they are publishing cryptocurrency papers okay so here uh, also you can download this data you can get uh, this uh, to the report and here Sources local impact. So impact measure measure is the H index. H index, you know, H index is the uh, index which measures the author's productivity. Productivity in the sense the number of publication and the citations. So the H index is also high in terms of uh, you know finance research letters. So the uh, this local impact has been you know uh, measured by H index. So, uh, so finance research letters, you know, uh, it's very, very good in terms of citation also. Okay. Then the sources protection over time. So every time you just run it, otherwise the output will not come. So here you can find that uh, finance research letters you know, it's very it's particularly significant in publication of cryptocurrency papers. So they are very interested in cryptocurrency papers. Okay. So year and uh, number of occurrences, finance social letters is, you know, it's very dominant uh, uh, as compared to other uh, channels. So now we can go to the others. Others we have, you know, we have five options that is most relevant others. So this is important, you know, when a person, when a research scholar, so bibliometrics is uh, essentially helpful to the research scholars, especially the beginners. Uh, I always say that the beginners, it is very good because they need to understand who are the prominent authors, uh, who are the prominent authors, uh, you know, prominent authors in this uh, uh, time, uh, they are conducting research and they need to understand the, 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 the keywords which are closely connected with their area. So these things can be, you know, understand with the help of uh, bibliometric analysis. Our studio would be essentially helpful for this, you know, understanding the most relevant authors. So let us find uh, who will be the most relevant author in the case of cryptocurrency. So here uh, we have Sensoi, Bori, Corbett, Lucy. These people are, you know, these people are very, very dominant uh, in regard to writing of papers. 
uh, using the keyword of cryptocurrency. Okay. So these are the most relevant orders. These are the most local cited orders. These people are, you know, getting more citations. Yes. Again, this Corbett, Sabori. So they are getting more number of citations also. So citations, you know, what is citation? Citation means. So a person who did some work, he's just citing the other's work. Citation shows the impact of the author. Nowadays, the quality, not the quality of papers which determine the authorship. So the quality of author and author's productivity will be based on the citations, number of citations he is getting. Then now we can see the author's production uh, over a period of time. So here, this uh, you know this graph is very pertinent because this graph shows the latest work of authors. So we can find the the graph shows 2022 who will be working and 2020 who was working to, to 2018 who were working. So this kind of you know year by year wise analysis we get who who are the latest recent authors who were the past authors if a particular author continuously publishing papers in cryptocurrency so we can follow that author so so this kind of uh, you know this kind of uh, information we getting from this author's production over a period of time so here also we can increase the uh, number of uh, authors just rerun it okay so this is important and uh, so next there is load cost law. So this is a very important law in, the, in regard to the bibliometrics. Uh, so this is author's productivity. We shows the author's productivity. So we can find this productivity in the sense that uh, there, I will I will show the uh, content of uh, that that content. So this function of uh, load cost estimate load cost low coefficient for scientific productivity. It describes the frequency of publication by authors in a, any given field where the number of authors publishing a certain number of articles is a fixed ratio to the number of authors publishing a single article. So this assumption implies that the theoretical beta coefficient of the log, uh, log cost low is equal to 2. So basically the frequency of the publication by authors in a in a given field here this cryptocurrency is the field and the frequency of the publication shows the frequency of the publication here we can find the frequency of the publication uh, so so this is the load cost low and here all those local impact so local impact wise the corbett you know corbett has been positioned in the top and Bowery. Uh, Corbett impact measure is H8. Uh, it's basically the impact is measured through H index. Okay. So H index is the uh, <coughs> dependent variable here which measures the local impact. So now uh, we can uh, go to affiliations. We hear most relevant affiliations. Just run it, otherwise it won't come. So here, uh, the affiliations of the um, you know major authors they are from which university, which institution, etc. So these are the universities. You know these are the universities which are you know top uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, publishing uh, cryptocurrency based papers. Then we uh, let us. Uh, we have interest to understand the who uh, the corresponding all those countries, the corresponding all those countries. So here, uh, you know, you can find that the China and US, United Kingdom, Korea, these countries are top. China, you know, China is very top, uh, you know, essentially uh, they are very good uh, and they are top in publishing cryptocurrency papers and US is the second, UK is the third. And we can find that the India is, you know, sixth position. So this is a very interesting thing. Uh, affiliations. Uh, 
uh, and uh, let us understand the most cited countries because uh, I'm not trying to explain all these things, but let us check the R studio is capable to produce all these output. If you are, you know, so United Kingdom uh, is the most cited country and China and US, you know, occupying, occupying the second and third position. So now we understand that, uh, you know, citation wise, India is not uh, placed uh, under 10. So we are, you know, lacking good papers. Indians are, uh, are lacking India. As far as India is concerned, we are lacking good papers because our papers are not citing across the globe. So, so that is the insight uh, here. Uh, you can find that uh, United Kingdom number of citations 1,442. So, uh, so most cited countries, documents, uh, so just we need to understand which document is the top in terms of, uh, you know, citation, most global cited documents. Just click it. So here, uh, this paper, this paper, which is published in financial uh, journal, uh, it has go to the 231 citations so all this journal all these uh, three papers you know published in the same journal uh, and this is the authors you can find the authors who were published these papers right So, uh, just let us understand which words used by, you know, keywords used by uh, the authors. So, here Bitcoin, yeah, it's a major currency, cryptocurrency, volatility, inefficiency, gold, returns, which is there is a comparison gold and crypto. The gold is, you know, performing right, uh, performing well. So, there are, you know, a lot of comparison papers which investment is good in crypto investment or gold investment that kind of comparative you know uh, papers are now working on so you will get all these things just uh, for the sake of curiosity you can understand the trend topics uh, in cryptocurrency so here you can find the trend keywords risk uncertainty cross section bitcoin all this volatility gold inefficiency efficiency that is the whole concept exchange exchange also so you can find the trend topic and here all these things you can try clustering uh, clustering by coupling here you can find uh, you know a map will be displayed So keyword coupling simply it is not, not a rocket science actually it is keyword uh, coupling you can try for the network it's taking time because a lot of analysis is uh, happening Let us wait. So you can try all these things. Uh, you know, ah, yes, clustering by coupling. So this is a map because I have clicked two times so that the uh, studio will be working accordingly. So the output will come two times.
yeah so bitcoin cross section volatility bitcoin volatility gold so these themes you know these clusters are very significant and you can find the others who are working with these clusters so there is a clustering so uh, once we are also you can find some clustering so this clustering you can find you know most papers are connected with these clusters so if you use the keywords bitcoin cross section volatility bitcoin volatility gold bitcoin uh, inefficiency efficiency you can find bitcoin in all the all the uh, clusters here also you can find a network also yeah Okay, so it is taking time so that I am just, uh, you know, uh, yeah, this is a network. It's very difficult to, you know, you can zoom it just need to understand the things. It's all about the others. You can change uh, into documents. You can change to others. Then you can find, uh, you know, uh, find a good result so you can change the options here so these are options window so you can change the options and you, here we can download here we can you know add to the report so if you are inter not interested in all the analysis you just add what are what are you interested just add and you will get a consolidated report at the end of the analysis and there is a report, report option you can find the report okay so the others clustering i think there is a problem and i uh, i i show i have shown in the beginning so there is a problem with the, some data sets it's it's poor it's something like good so uh, you will get all these things you know uh, uh you know uh from from the excellent uh, data so if it isn't good something may not be working so so here, uh, there is a keyword plus is also there. You, you just remove the keyword plus. The keyword plus, you will not get any insight because some journals, always uh, journals using the default keywords. But uh, the other's keyword may be different from the default keywords. So, so you just, you know, uh, the impact measure is the local citation score. Others keywords, coupling measured by others keywords. Okay, coupling measured by others keywords. Unit of analysis authors, number of units to 50, minimum cluster frequency five. Okay, you just run it. Sometimes it may not be working, so let, uh, let us check whether it is working or not. Yeah, it is working. Uh, it is working. You can zoom it. Uh, so it shows the others. Uh, okay. So here there is an option conceptual structure, uh, conceptual structure. If you want to map it, just run it. This is a conceptual structure. And here you will find co-occurring So but keys, keywords, the network can be here and it should be others keyword. So you can also start editing, load the list uh, terms to remove. If you want to remove some, you can just upload a TXT or CSV file containing a list of terms you want to remove from the analysis. So if you want to remove some some gold, because some keywords are rep uh, repeating, if you want to remove it, just you know upload a CSV file uh, to remove 
so the the system automatically will remove okay so remember the file should be txt or csv file uh, so that you know uh, it will remove and uh, here we can find the uh, find the keywords which is dominant here is the, again bitcoin volatility inefficiency all these keywords are you know dominant and you can find the connection also so bubbles currency sentiments returns okay so these are the major you know uh, keywords which are closely connected with the cryptocurrency then the thematic map also so a lot of things i just i don't want to mention all these things here uh, the explanation also you will get from the r studio so the basic thing you just uh, make sure that all these things will be working so the, all these things will be you know the major thing i just wanted to show that that is intellectual structure and conceptual structure here you can find a factorial analysis so the factorial analysis you can you know you will get a word map word map conceptual structure you can find a structure you can this the the r studio will be you know create some structure also uh, of you of the keywords and you will get a topic dendrogram here you can just you know the same topic uh, the closely connected topic which which have a dendrogram so this kind of analysis will be very good very impactful you know you preparing papers okay so here there is a report option report option you can get the report so only one i just click for the report so you can you know click different reports so you just work on all these things it's very simple one you will get uh, good insights of a particular area and your research you know will be a, will be fruitful after understanding these core ideas while using bibliometric analysis so uh, i'm stopping right now so i will uh, I will, uh, so there is a detailed session I will be, you know, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be posting later. So now I am stopping. Uh, okay. Thank you.